I was alone by the unattended pillar, mourning the bereaved air that lay so quiet between walls, hungry for hammer blows and the momentous hive that once was there, and when I prayed my voice slid to the ground like a crashed pediment. There was a demolition written over the walls and dogs rummaged in the foundations and picnic parties laughed on a heap of stone, but gradually I was aware of someone in the doorway and turned my eyes that way and saw, carved out of the sunlight, a man who stood watching me so still that there was not other such stillness anywhere on the earth, so still that the air seemed to leap at his side. He came toward me and the sun flooded its banks and flowed across the shadow. He asked me why I stood alone. His voice hovered on memory with open wings and drew itself up from a chime of silence as though it had long time lain in a vein of gold. I told him, it is the king post. He stretched his hand upon it. At his touch, it lifted to its place. There was no sound. I cried out, I cried at last, who are you? I heard him say, someone in the doorway and turned my eyes that way and saw, carved out of the sunlight, a man who stood watching me so still that there was not other such stillness anywhere on the earth, so still that the air seemed to leap at his side. He came toward me and the sun flooded its banks and flowed across the shadow. He asked me why I stood alone. His voice hovered on memory with open wings and drew itself up from a chime of silence as though it had long time lain in a vein of gold. I told him, it is the king post. He stretched his hand upon it. At his touch, it lifted to its place. There was no sound. I cried out and I cried at last, who are you? say, 